We've been showing you how Cincinnati police are reaching out to the Hispanic community. One hope, reducing street robberies in Price Hill, like one at a shop along Warsaw, where News 5's John London takes us now. In the seven years Federico Venatura has been running Julia's grocery store, he's been robbed twice. Somebody come here with uh, shotguns and they put in my head. They say, give me all the money. 300 bucks and a laptop. Partly why bars on the door and the windows are standard along parts of Warsaw. Most District 3 officers do not speak even rudimentary Spanish. They are out here distributing bilingual pamphlets about how victims are targeted and tracked. Through prison interviews, they know most of the 84 robberies along here this year are crimes of opportunity. The robo aquí sí me han robado como unos dos veces. Aquí en esta, sí. en esta tienda. Inside Julia's, the owner has encouraged his customers to report crimes, to not fear the cops or deportation. It's a hard sell. People who, who um, are, are resented for generations, their they're, 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 they're relationship with the police. So as officers went to businesses and homes today, praising the federal grant that enables this barrier breakthrough. It's important for the Hispanic community to hear this on our air tonight. We are here solely to help that person as a victim, whether you're a citizen or not. Let me ask you, whether you're a drug dealer or not, whether you're a drug buyer or not, we don't want you victimized in the city. The progress isn't exactly rapid, but robberies are down 38 percent, felonious assaults 10 percent. Muy bien. So I say thank you, Cincinnati, city police. We love the law in the United States. That's I like here because we uh, take care of what happened. In Price Hill, John London, News 5.